all sixth graders come out here for eco-literacy one time a year. And one of the things they learn out here is certainly is what sustainability is and what the habitat is doing for our environment and our community. But today specifically what we did is we went out to look at uh, a nesting barn owl. Our predators are diminishing in numbers, so by putting up these boxes, it's actually helped us control our population of rodents here and pests. Oh That's mama and father in there. <laughs> He's hissing. Hear them hissing? They hiss and they sound. That's, that's a, an anti-predator response. <laughs> and in the box that we checked, there was three young barn owls that are about maybe two or three or four days away from fledging, which means that they're going to leave that box and land nearby, and mom and dad are going to feed them at night, and they're going to learn how to strengthen their wings and go out and get gophers and rodents. If rodents are overpopulating the environment, they're going to eat all the native plants, and that's food, structure, uh, habitat for survival for so many animals. So if you upset, it's a balance. So you want to always have a balance between the high end of the food chain and the low end of the food chain. And owls are at the top. So by the time you get up there and you're not having owls, you're going to have all these rodents that populate and they're going to eat everything else and everything else crashes. So it's an incredible thing for the food web to keep a healthy population at the top. And that means keeping pesticides and herbicides out of that connection, that system. This bird lives and hunts at nighttime. Um, normally they take maybe two or three rodents a night. And now during the breeding season, mom and dad will have to bring certainly a lot more into the nest box. Um, not only to feed themselves, but also feed their young. And there can be as many, maybe as six to eight birds in a box. Um, it's hard to know how many were in here. We had three there and we saw the one on the ground that had fledged. So this, this particular family group at least had four owls, maybe more. There's probably no better vehicle than teaching somebody hands-on, seeing it for the first time, getting excited, enthused, and then passing that information on.